constructing a windmill is not very hard and electric motors are not very expensive but the wind doesn't blow all of the time and the current coming out of the motor is quite unstable so we need a way to store energy and we need a way to transform and smoothen the current coming out of the generator using batteries it costs around 300 euro to store a single kilowatt hour battery have very limited lifespan and charging and discharging all of the time it seems far easier to use a secondary motor and dump the wind energy into a rotating mass a vacuum isn't really necessary we only need to bridge those few days when the wind doesn't blow even a grid connected system can only feed so much back up the grid in contrast to the expensive batteries we can quite easily construct a thousand or five thousand kilogram flywheel. In a snail space its flywheel will already hold several kilowatt hours worth of power. The flywheel could be huge, but digging a hole in the ground doesn't cost much space at all. When we move the mass to the rim of the wheel we can float the flywheel in a ditch like a boat with zero hull volume. Even a ten ton cylinder could be hidden in the ground quite easily. The energy density of flywheels can be two times as high as that of high end batteries. It would equate to twenty tons worth of battery packs. There are some who pretend the return on investment is poor, but they seem all too happy to ignore the dwindling currency and the skyrocketing energy prices. When we compare today's mortgage rates with 30 years ago, quite a different picture appears. The demand for batteries isn't going to come down either. This will most likely drive up the prices even further. The green bottleneck is in the energy storage technology. Generating power isn't much of an issue. Conventional storage is expensive, unreliable and hard to mass produce. 